each of these people mentored each other in a certain way. So Lynn mentored Kelly, and Kelly mentored Chris. Chris is passing that on. Lynn also was mentored by other people. So uh, this is a panel that I think is also about mentoring. And it's about how we pass along the things that are important to us as editors. Uh, how the people who we work with can learn from us. And I really hope that those of you in the audience, I promise I'm almost done, um, uh, th those of you who are here in the audience will be able to seek out that from your mentors, and if you don't have one, you'll seek out a mentor to get this from. Or if you're editors, that you accept that responsibility of passing it along to other people. And this is at the core of what this panel is about. The first thing I want to make sure we do is make sure that everyone introduces themselves and lets you know why I say they are mentors and mentees of each other. So uh, why don't we start down with Lynn. So um, you want to talk a little about, I think it's already on. There we go. I find it much better if you go. No. Cowbells? <laughs> More cowbell, right. I'm Lynn Willingham. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I, am I supposed to tell them what I've done? Yeah, just, okay. just give a couple of credits. Okay, or so Besides being an awesome editor, what were you an awesome editor of? I did uh, The X-Files, uh, Breaking Bad, True Blood, Ray Donovan, and I just finished a pilot called Claws. I am Kelly's mentor, which makes me incredibly, incredibly proud. Um, Kelly was my assistant on the Breaking Bad pilot. She was my assistant before that and kept urging me to leave the show we were doing so we could do something really fun. And we got the pilot of Breaking Bad, um, which of course you got, the pi you got the pilot of. Breaking I got the pilot of Breaking Bad, and Kelly came with me, which was super. And um, you know, sort of the rest is history for both of us, actually for all three of us, because it was the show that just keeps on giving. And um, I guess that's about it. Well, good segue to Kelly. My name is Kelly Dixon. Lynn was my mentor. Um, let's see, I was an assistant for a, an embarrassingly long amount of time, um, but uh, I met Lynn on a mini-series for NBC, and I was really, really excited because she and one of my other mentors who's out there in the audience, Chris Willingham. Stand up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of looked at these two as the editing powerhouse, and I knew of Chris because he was editing my favorite show, 24 at the time, three-time Emmy winner of 24. Um, and I knew Lynn because she was editing another one of my favorites, which was The X-Files. And uh, I actually got the job with another friend of mine who's an editor, his name is Juan Garza. And um, we went on to this miniseries, and I was an assistant who basically roved among four or five, four or five editors. Um, and then Lynn got a, a procedural uh, on a network um, and she asked me to go, and I was like, absolutely, because every single editor that she, I mean, every single assistant that you had, uh, that had assisted you was already moved up, and it was editing. So I was like, okay, this is my chance to go and cut. So I went to work with her, and I was constantly saying, you're better than this, you're better than this, you're better than this, we can do better, you can do better, you can do better. And, and um, Cable was just sort of getting started at the time. Uh, Lynn had been doing a lot of, uh, uh, network stuff that was going 24 uh, episodes a season, and she was very reluctant to go on to something that was, uh, you know, 10 or 13 episodes a season. And then Vince Gilligan, who she knew from the X Files, got in touch with her. And she comes in the room. I've told this story before, but I'll be quick. Um, she comes in the room. It's okay, they're all new here. Uh, she comes in the room and uh, she closes the door. And I'm like, why are you closing the door? And she's like, I got a pilot. And I'm like, you're not going to go do it. She's like, I'm going to go do it. It's Vince Gilligan. I'm like, ah, yes, oh, my God. And she said, she said, well, maybe you should stay here. Maybe they'll make you an editor. I'm like, no effing way. Let's go. Because to me, it was a win-win. I would either move up or I would stay her assistant. And both of those were win-wins. Um, so I moved on to Breaking Bad. And from there, I did 
good lord i did uh actually luck which is a great segue i did the pilot for luck um, which was my second job michael mann's assistant called me up out of the blue on a saturday at 5 30 and asked me to go meet him and uh i did uh let's see i did the luck i did the walking dead i did better call saul i did shameless i can't even remember i just finished a pilot for fox called um the passage and uh, i did the preacher pilot and a couple other things and that segues to chris because i met chris on the luck pilot, and he was an awesome assistant, one of three or four. Oh, well, thank you. Um, Segway. Uh, I'm I'm Chris McCaleb. Uh, Kelly Dixon was my mentor, and um, uh, I I had been an assistant since I guess my first gig was in 2005. It was on the Michael Mann movie Miami Vice. I had worked on a bunch of different, you know, the the good one. The one everybody remembers as the best movie they've ever seen. And, um, uh, but it was an incredible experience. And then uh, I, I took several years um, off in the wilderness making writing and directing stuff on the internet uh, with some friends. And then uh, that didn't work out financially. And so I went back to work. And I was working on the pilot of Luck, the Michael Mann. Because you know, they, always, they always want you back if you've been there. I, 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 I know some people in the audience have, have been through that world. And uh, it's it's uniquely challenging, and um, and Kelly, we Wait, met which there. Which part of that, the pilot or the Michael Mann part? The the Michael Mann part. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, but it, I mean, incredible opportunities that you get working there to learn, and uh, that's where we met, and we just we stayed in touch for several years, and then we didn't work together until this, 2012. yeah, 2012, this short run. Uh, ABC series, and she was going to be going back to the final season of Breaking Bad, and she couldn't take me because she had an assistant there. And um, while we were working on Red Widow, her assistant retired from the business, and she said, "Do you want to go work on Breaking and, Bad?" And do you know what he said? Let me think about it. Well, <laughs> I was a huge fan of the show, and I, you know, you know how it is when you're working on something, you can't just watch it. You know, you're in it. And it was a very easy, quick decision. I thought about it for about three seconds. And uh, yeah, it has been, has, you know, changed my life. And, and, um, and I've gone on to edit on Better Call Saul with Kelly and uh, shows like Halt and Catch Fire, Fear the Walking Dead, and uh, most recently, the new season of Narcos. So. So I also heard in there that you were doing some mentoring for Lynn as well, is what it sounded like. I was pushing, I was pushing Lynn. That's, we're calling it mentoring for this panel. <laughs> you, if you work with Kelly and she wants something, it's like you have your own agent. I, I was not, I mean, it did, a week did not go by where she wasn't saying to me, we have to get out of here. We just have to get out of here. You have to go and do something because I need to move up. You know, it, it was like. I never said that. <laughs> It was in the back of your mind. No, it was mostly because I felt like you were kind of being wasted. I felt like Lynn was so talented. I mean, seriously, I, I was not blowing smoke. She was so talented, and she was, you know, just doing the stuff that, you know, you know. I mean, I'm not trying to belittle that job, but I'm like, Lynn was super talented, and I felt like she was really not being utilized in the best way. We tried to do some sort of um, creative things on that show, and they would just get shot down. I'm like... No. Yeah. So, but you know what? I always say, people who know me know I say this. Um, I always say, you know what? The right thing's going to happen. And that was the right thing. I mean, I was an assistant for an embarrassingly long time. And, but boy, I hit the lottery on that one. Well, the interesting thing, too, was I wasn't looking for anything. Because she's right. I would have stayed there. I was supposed to, I was supposed to cut the showrunners, you know, like the first, yeah, the finale in the show, he, the first thing he had directed and I ever, I think, on the, on the show. And it was like, I knew him. I didn't want to disappoint him. And, and then Vince's assistant called and said, Vince, Vince has a pilot and he's wondering if you'd be interested in say it. And I said to him, tell him I'll take it. <laughs> and he goes, would you like to read the script? I said, yeah, sure, but tell him I'll take it. <laughs> because anything that Vince writes is worth doing. And I mean, seriously, I took the job before even reading the script because of Vince. So, so let me ask, before we start to look at the scenes, let me ask you this question then. Do you feel you've also been therefore mentored by Vince? No, certainly. No. Okay. No, I mean, I worked with Vince on the X-Files, 
but um, and we had a very nice collaboration, but I would not call him a mentor. I, I would call him an amazing partner and someone fabulous to work for, um, but in the true sense of mentoring, no, he expected my game was there when I got there. Um, you know, people who, I'd say the very, f very first producer who honestly ever mentored me was someone who, who moved me up for the first time as an editor uh, in a studio where there was an awful lot of work, but you know, he decided I should be up. And he really taught me some things about editing that I didn't know. When I got to Vince, I knew how to edit. So those kinds of things weren't important. It was freeing to work with someone like him because he's brilliant. But um, I think our game was there, you know, and he expected that. 